Now let's look at the proof of uh, the first claim, and I will only show uh, first that the positive variation is monotonically non-decreasing, and I will leave the uh, case for uh, the negative variation to be monotonically non-decreasing as an exercise. So to show that uh, this positive variation is monotonically non-decreasing, so let uh, P be a partition of this interval a x. So, a is t 0, then you have points t 1, t 2 up to t n. This is equal to x and uh, let also x prime be a point greater than or equal to x. Uh, this is still less than or equal to b. So, we will show that uh, given any partition P of uh, A x, there exists a partition P prime of A x prime such that we have that the sum j in i plus p uh, of these terms f t j plus 1 minus f t j is a less than or equal to the sum j prime belong to i plus of p prime f t j plus 1 minus f t j prime plus 1 minus f t j prime and in fact it is quite easy to uh, create this partition in fact p prime can be taken to be so start with so it is just an extension of p to uh, this interval a x prime so we are have all the points that we already had up to x and then we have t n plus 1 this is equal to x prime. So, this is just adding one more point in the partition and uh, you have immediately uh, this uh, inequality because uh, the sum on the right will contain the sum on the left. So, so, this inequality star follows immediately. Immediately and therefore, where plus f a x is monotonically non-decreasing. So, similarly, and I leave it as an, as an exercise that where minus f a x is monotonically non decreasing. Now, to show that these two are in fact bounded, I will just again use the positive variation as a as an illustration of the proof is bounded. In fact, I will I am going to show that where plus f a x is less than or equal to the total variation or the variation of f over a x and this is less than or equal to the total variation uh, a b and this is finite because f is of bounded variation. So, we will show this. So, it is not very difficult to show this again uh, this is about extending partitions. So, let p be the partition of a x. <coughs> so, a equals t 0, t 1, t 2 and so on and we have t n equals x <coughs> and we have immediately that j in i plus p of this sum f t j plus 1 minus f t j is 
less than or equal to the whole sum j equal to 0 to n minus 1 f uh, modulus of f t j plus 1 minus f t j because again the sum on the right contains all the terms on the left. So, this this means that this means that where plus f a x is less than or equal to where f a x and it is immediate that this is less than or equal to the total variation over a b which is finite. So, it is also bounded and so we have shown that the positive variation is both bounded and monotonically non decreasing and as an exercise again you should have you should so show that where minus is also bounded. So, this proves the uh, first part of the claim. So, let us go back to the claim. This proves the first part which says that both these functions where plus and where minus are bounded and monotonically non decreasing. And on the other hand we have this formula f x minus f a should be equal to the difference of these two functions where plus and where minus. So, let us try to show this. So, proof of part 2. Uh, to show this choose partitions. So, first of all let epsilon greater than 0 be given be given and now we can choose partitions uh, p 1 and p 2 of a x such that we have the modulus of where plus f a x minus this uh, the sum the sum f t j plus 1 minus f t j j in i plus of p 1 this difference is less than or equal to epsilon and similarly the negative variation we can take uh, let us take a different index let us say k in i minus p 2. The point here is that uh, when you are using the supremum uh, definition of the positive and negative variations which is the supremum over all partitions then for a chosen epsilon uh, the two partitions that you get when you get closer and closer to the supremum may differ when you take the positive variation and the negative variation. So, here p 1 might be different from the partition p 2. So, here we have for the negative variation minus of f t j plus 1 uh, t k plus 1 sorry t k plus 1 minus f of t k this is also less than or equal to epsilon. And now we can take we take a common partition common refinement of the partitions p 1 and p 2. So, let us call this common refinement uh, say p uh, such that on this common refinement we still have that where plus minus f. So, I am just putting both inequalities in, in one formula j in i plus minus p now this is the sum of uh, plus minus f t j plus 1 minus f t 
टी जे दिस इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू एफ सोलिंग सो दिस पासिंग टू द कॉमन रिफाइनमेंट इज अ लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी बिकॉज द सेट ऑफ इंडिसेज लेट से फॉर द पॉजिटिव वेरिएशन वेन यू पास टू द कॉमन रिफाइनमेंट देन दिस इंडेक्स सेट आई प्लस पी वन माइंड बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आई प्लस पी एंड सिमिलरली आई माइनस पी टू माइंड बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आई माइनस पी सो लेट सी अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द चेंजेस इन द इंडेक्स सेट आई प्लस एंड आई माइनस दैट कैन अकर हियर आई हैव डिनोटेड इन द ग्रीन पॉइंट्स इन द ग्रीन कलर्ड पॉइंट्स द पार्टीशन पी टू दैट वी यूज फॉर द नेगेटिव वेरिएशन एंड uh in the red colored points the partition p1 that we used for the positive variation and we suppose that uh t0 and t1 uh belong to i i plus sorry i minus p2 i minus p2 which means that so f t1 f t1 is less than or equal to f t0 so this is the situation here f t1 is less than or equal to f t0 but when you plug in the partitioning from p1 which was for the positive variation then it could happen that uh, t0 is no longer in i minus because at s0 so the partition now is t0 s0 t1 and so on so according to the increasing order of the points and here we have uh, f of t0 is less than f of s0 and therefore t0 is no longer in uh, i minus but it's in i plus of the new partition p but i still uh, we will still have that uh, the this variation will still be close to the posit uh, i uh, for the sums given by um, i plus p and i minus p for both positive and negative variations they the sums will be at most uh, epsilon away from the positive and negative variation so i'll leave it as an exercise again exercise check all possibilities all possibilities to ensure that the inequality var plus minus f a x minus j in i plus minus p a modulus of or rather plus minus f t j plus 1 minus f t j is less than or equal to epsilon so even though we can have changes in the index set we will still have this inequality so once we have this then it's not very difficult to show that uh, f x minus f a is also close to the difference var plus and var minus by 2 epsilon so let's say let's see first that note that fx sorry small f fx minus f f a is equal to the sum j over i plus p uh f t j plus 1 minus f t j minus uh k in i minus p minus f t k plus 1 minus f t k so this is simply by using the sort of a telescoping sum which is broken up into two pieces one for the positive uh 
index set and one for the negative index set. So check this formula holds. And secondly, we have that f mod of fx minus fa minus where plus f a x minus uh, where minus f a x this is now less than or equal to the sum so this is where plus f a x minus j in i plus p f t j plus 1 minus f t j plus where minus f a x minus k in i minus p minus i minus p minus f t k plus 1 minus f t k and these two both these terms are less than or equal to epsilon so this is less than or equal to 2 epsilon and since epsilon was arbitrary we have equality of these two terms so this shows that f is a difference of two bounded monotonically non decreasing functions uh, so one is given by var plus f a x plus f a and the other one is given by var minus f. So this proves the statement of the lemma.